So what I have here is, is uh, an application called Notebook LM that's made by Google. And what I've done is upload a PDF of a text that we read in class called All Minus One, which is an excerpt from John Stuart Mill's On Liberty, focusing on some of his arguments on free speech. I've had it generate a podcast um, about this content. And while that is interesting in, in and of itself, um, I also want to show you this interactive mode, which is in beta, um, which I think is even more interesting. But um, So I'll click that on. And it's been a little bit glitchy. We'll see if it works here for this recording. Um, I'll let you listen to the podcast a little bit so you can hear kind of what that sounds like. Hey everyone, welcome to our deep dive today. We're gonna to be tackling a pretty big question. You know, the one that's been debated for centuries. Why is free speech so important? And to help us unpack this whole thing, we're gonna be looking at John Stuart Mill and his work on liberty. Oh yeah. Which he wrote way back in 1859. Um, and even though it was published over 150 years ago, his ideas about free speech, they feel incredibly relevant today. Absolutely. Given all the debates and conversations about what we can and can't say, especially online. That's okay, so what I'm gonna to try to do now is jump in and um, basically in this part uh, of the podcast, they're about to discuss how Mill argues that even if one person believes something and everyone else doesn't believe it, that they still shouldn't silence that one dissenting view. But I'm gonna ask a question about hate speech and we'll see um, how they uh, handle that question so that's right especially online it seems what's so fascinating about mill is he wasn't just worried about you know oh hey welcome what's up i just have a quick question about hate speech so mill argues that if one person dissents and everyone else disagrees with them then he still shouldn't be silenced but what if that person has um you know a hateful viewpoint or a morally awful viewpoint and they are trying to um, share it and spread those ideas. That's a really important question, and it gets to the heart of a lot of our current debates. Yeah, it's like, where do we draw the line between protecting free speech and preventing harm? Exactly. Mill himself didn't directly address the concept of hate speech, but his arguments do provide a framework for thinking about it. Okay, so let's unpack this. What would Mill say about someone who is using their free speech to spread hate? Well, first, Mill would argue that even hateful ideas should not be silenced outright because the opinion may possibly be true. Even if the opinion seems morally reprehensible to almost everyone. So you get the idea, and, and it's this isn't obviously about whether, um, you know, about hate speech and, and that kind of, I just wanted to demonstrate how, you know, this is just kind of mind-blowing to me where you can just, the AI generates the podcast, which is mind-blowing in and of itself, um, but then it's come to the point where we can actually interact with them in a, in a very natural way. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's Notebook LM. And um, at least right now, it's uh, everything I've done here is free um, to use or to do on my personal uh, Gmail account.